Hey y'all, welcome back to Crystal of Seven. I'm trying this new thing with YouTube. So this is a video of my kids just having a fun day. And they wanted to cook, so they got to cook. Here you go. He said he wants to make him some pork chops. He's already washed and um, cleaned them. That stove need cleaning now. You gonna tell them what kind of seasoning you putting on them? Mm. Lemon pepper. Wait. Show it to them. Show it to them. Okay. Onion powder. That's a lot of seeds for three pork chops. I put the other ones in the other in the oven there. Oh. Orange pepper. I don't think I've seen it. I'm sorry. I'll show it one more time. Okay. So he got some like citrus pork going on. Okay. You gonna put any kind of? He salt wanted on? to add some plain white kind of salt, salt gonna put on, but no. I was like, my blood pressure no, gonna be running up. So we um opt to use um pink salt. Not that much. He won't be a lot of salt. Sure. I was like, you gonna kill me. But we, we did pink salt. You ain't gonna mix gonna it around though. Ready. Yeah, them some nice pork chops. I got them pork chops at Sam's. And the the uh the meat section that you got enough seeds on them pork chops, rub it around. Uh, the meat section down here in Texas is nothing like the meat section back here in Memphis. Memphis meat be thin as wind. Nothing didn't cook for a long time. Big Dad always on something. Now he wanna put a little Take water. Take no food out no car. Told me they was in the car a long time. Just be wanting to talk. Yeah, I know my oven dirty, so what? That ain't in the oven. So how long you think your pork chops gonna take Dang, to cook? This boy, you need some soap, baby. You on hold like record. Have Halfway washing your hands. I, I just don't understand. I'm happy right, I was watching. So I just seasoned the pork chops and I put some um black pepper, onion powder, some orange pepper, um, some lemon pepper. Here go that pink salt. Pink salt that. Even though it's a garlic powder. So, then I'm going to put it in the oven. And I ain't going to put no aluminum foil on it because I like it better with aluminum foil. Push it on back there. Push both of them on back there. And then, I'm going to wash my hands. Why y'all keep putting it under there? I made my boy wash his hands correctly. But y'all know how I was talking about how my stove need clean. So how long you think it's going to take to cook? Yeah, he better see the fate right here. Uh, I, don't minutes. Uh, I had to get down to clean the stove. So the okay, next we'll video, be back I do in a little cooking. Woo. Uh, right, I'll wait a minute I'll talk to you, And then, so I'm going to tell y'all the greens we got. We got some... Carrots, two bags of carrots, got some honey, some garlic, and some pink salt. The butter already melted in the skillet. So we're gonna wait and let them melt a little bit. And then, then we're gonna add the we're gonna honey. Add the honey and the garlic and the salt. Where the salt and the carrots go last. Time. But So is this real butter or this margarine? Margarine. No, that's that real butter. Okay, this real butter. I don't need no fake butter. No fake butter? No fake butter. You gotta hold this.
Go. Ready? So, we let the butter milk. We got the real butter. Now we're going to add the honey. honey. Just need a little sweet taste to it. Add a little more. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add the garlic. Too much. <laughs> so we're going to add a little garlic. So in the pan, we got the honey, the butter, and the and garlic. The Next, we're going to add the salt. What kind of salt is it? It's pea, pea salt. It's healthy for you better than We milk. talked about this healthy salt, but we had a whole sugar. half a cup of sugar to some carrots. Don't add it all at one time. Corn. So what you doing, Chris? Um, I just stirred the um, carrots up in the um honey and garlic. So we gonna add the rest of the okay, more. Add the rest of the carrots. It's a lot of carrots. I'm just letting them. Mm -hmm. she doing that, I'm gonna start putting up the stuff. So we took a little break, but we added some more garlic and salt into it, and some more honey and sugar. Honey and sugar. And then we're going to let it sit for a minute. Then we're going to put it in the oven on 350. Make sure you have it on 350. Put some normal foil around it. Make sure you cover the whole pan. Let that sit about an hour, and then an hour we're going to come back and put it on full. Put a little brown into it. Yeah. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. I had to clean after longer this. Longer than the hour and 15 minutes. How much longer than the hour and 15 minutes? Probably, it's probably going to cook instead of like for hour and 30 minutes instead of 15 minutes. Yes, it had to happen. Clean I stove now, though. Hour so minutes. I guess it happened for the so best. It like an hour and 30 minutes. Then I'm about to taste it and then I'm gonna see if it's ready or not. Um, yes, I think it's ready. It looks good. It ain't burnt. That's all I got to say. Y'all can watch the video, learn how y'all can cook. Cause I know some of y'all can cook. I know but he just didn't say that and waste all that stuff in the bottom of the oven. Okay, here's the finished product. Citrus pork chops and rice, carrots, rolls. It was pretty good. Have a good night. Here's a picture of my seven peas.